Well, hey, y'all. Hi, ya doing? I hope you're doing great. Well, we had a winner, and I've heard back from the winner from our last contest, and it's just inspired me to do another one. I know people are like, why do you do this? Because you don't have companies giving you these palettes. It's like, I know, I go and buy them. I actually get joy from it. Okay, am I weird? Am I the only YouTuber that does this? Probably. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, because I do like to give you gifts. I enjoy giving little treaties to my subbies, my friends. I really appreciate y'all supporting my channel. Um, I've got to learn to edit now, for sure, because I promise once I hit 100 subscribers that I would actually learn to edit. It will not be this video, but um, I am going to do a 100 subscriber celebration video because there's a certain sound bite that I want, and I've got to learn how to edit to even get that. Yeah, it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. No, I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what am I going to talk about today? Two things. First of all, I am going to talk about the uh, glam planning that I'm going to be doing for the second week of DC Murray. That was a slight under burp. And, um, but before I get to that, I wanted to talk to you about some new earrings that I got, and I wondered what y'all thought. Do you think these are overwhelming? I mean, for the right event, right? I'm just kidding. These are my little Eiffel Tower ornamentes for my hot pink Christmas tree. The next video, it would be back here. I don't know if it's Italian or French or something I made up from Transylvania. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to have a tree. And I've already got an Eiffel Tower. I promise next time when I have my tree on, I'll have my Eiffel Tower on. Will that make you happy? Good. Now. Yeah. Hush, hush, and go take a nap. I'm just kidding. That's what I always say to the puppies. <laughs> hey, I think I'm having a good hair day today. Guys, I did notice a difference in something. Uh, as soon as I... I didn't hear any of you guys saying pimento cheese. In other words, wipe your... These. Uh, I remember you used to say that to me. So I can hear it. <laughs> um... I had three subjects just started just then, and I don't know which in the world one I should go to. Uh, let's start with uh, Michelle Fon's M Cosmetics. I did a, um, I need to do another one. See how I just skipped over sentences then? I need to do one. I need to do another one. Okay, I know. I'm going to get better. I'm not. I'm hyperactive. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I could take Ritalin. Nah. Um, adults do take Ritalin and it does help them to concentrate better and slow down. I don't want to slow down. I think there's new drugs, but anyway, I think I'll just, um, just keep motor mouthing through. Okay, Michelle Fon, you just say her name and subscribers show up. Michelle Fon, Michelle Fon, Michelle Fon. <laughs> just kidding. I want my own. But I do like her line and I have done a video a long time ago. Reviewing the, um, light, what's it called, life palette that I got. Velvet is getting to be like brain. Making all her little noises. But she's so adorable. What can you do about it? Okay. So, Velvet, come here. She pays it. Do you see that? Did you see that velvet hair just fly right in front of my eyes? All right. So, anyway. Look at it. I get used to them being in the house. Anyway, this lip balm, actually it's called the Lip Plush, and it is the Cushney Lip Balm in color Lollipop, and you can see on the side, it's a beautiful kind of a muted cherry color, and I love her packaging. Someone said they thought it was cheap. This is the furthest thing from cheap I've ever seen. It is a domed magnified lid that says me backwards. M is me backwards, the reflection of me. And um, so I think that's really cool. I think her whole concept, I think she put so much into this, you guys. I just cannot say enough good things about Michelle Fon and uh, my respect for her. I watched her grow from nothing, like a couple of videos to, what is she, 7 million or something? She's way over that by now. 
I hope she's still in a relationship with Dom. They seem like a really cute couple. But anyway, I haven't checked her out in a while. I'll have to go check. But she's a true gifted uh, YouTuber and, in my opinion, makeup artist. She's an artist. So, I mean, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And she's very creative. Like, she puts her hair and nails and outfits to go with it. You think I should do that? My nails kind of match because there's white in my jacket. Just had my nails done. French white, what do you think? I like it. I like it to do it long when they're new. And then after about a week, I'm tired of that, and I'll go in and say, we've got to go to medium or sports length. So, anyway, so today I decided to hydrate my lips and make them shiny and beautiful for interview with lecture purposes. And lollipop. And I do highly recommend Michelle Fon, um, M Cosmetics, uh, the whole line. The whole line. It's great. But you can choose from so many different palettes. They're called Life Palettes, and there's like five colorways in each, or five or four colorways in each one, and you can pop them out because they send, or at least initially, they used to send with it um, a little purse-sized one that was empty, you know, like a Z palette only, about this big. Substantial packaging, very, very classy, and um, and you could pop out the ones you want for the day, and it's got both blush, lip gloss, and an eyeshadow, and you pop it all back into this one, and they give you the tool to do it. You don't have to go find something like the end of a pen or scissors or something like that she gives it to you which I thought was cool and they're this big and then you take one of the little quads and put it into your purse size and it's just awesome so I just really love it and I've been using it a lot lately and I really like how moisturizing it is yes I know those of you who are saying Beth I thought you can't use lip gloss with your all day you can't I usually either use this or that or use this on weekends, or use this right before I film, because y'all know I always, always put something on before I film, so it'd be shiny. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to tell y'all about before I got into who knows what, is I uh, remember the book that I gave away called Face Paint by Lisa Eth Eldridge. I started to say Etheridge again. It's awesome. Lauren and um, Coco Pink told me that they absolutely love it, um, and they're really enjoying it actually reading it besides the fact that it's a beautiful coffee table book but I don't know if y'all remember before that I got this one and this is called Making Faces by Kevin O'Quan not Kevin O'Quan you don't pronounce the N I heard him say his own name he knows his own name better than we do it's Kevin O'Quan Kevin O'Quan and it's cool it's usually in my background right there but I have since put face paint back there by itself and this is over there on my little um Ottoman that's in front of my love seat that the babies sit on. But this is really a great book, you guys. And it's a little more, less about history and a little bit more about application. It gives examples, lots of tutorial type stuff. And I highly recommend this one. So if you, um, also if you know someone that um, really enjoys makeup and beauty, this is a great Christmas present. I think it was around 20 bucks, $22. So, um, you could probably go into a bookstore, Barnes and Noble or Books of Maine or something like that and find it. If not, I know you can get online because that's how I got mine. Okay, last but not least, because I'm determined to make this into one and only one. So, like, what's up with me right now? Why am I being so formal? It's the British side coming out. Woodward was my maiden name and it's a British name, you know. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I have some, I have a quandary. I need to look up what that word means. I think it means um, a problem that needs fixing. <laughs> That's the southern way of saying it. I have now got several, and I've got two coming, um, for my Erin Condren Day Planner. I have got several um, sticker spreads, options to do. We know that I'm going to always put on my little jar. And this is so that if I lose a pound, I can put a little pound sign in there and I can fill this jar up full of pounds. And we'll see if I'm losing weight. I did good till tonight. I ate some chips and dip. I was doing good today. Um, and then the other thing was my um, Days to Christmas. And this I got from L. Fowler's store, The Glam Planner. And I like that one. And this is also from Elle's. Okay, so like, I fell in love with this. You could really use this more than one way. What did I do with the... There's another option. What did I do with the other option? There he is. Um, this is just her different colors of glitter. And it's like an emerald, and then a mint, and then a silver, and then like another pewterish color. 
And this is the four box set and it could easily go with this little sample kit. See how cute that is? So it could be muted or you could use it with her bright sample. There's a big difference. I'll hold them next to each other so you can see it. This is more muted. This is more bright. This is more um, kind of vintage and this is more traditional as far as colors for Christmas. The bright red and green and the muted red and green. This got more mauve and this got gold. So you could take that and put it with this. I just don't know, you guys. This just looks so fun to me. You could put that with this. And then to really wake it up, because these are very bright, you could add these from Cricut Paper Co. These um, sayings from Christmas movies, and a lot of these are from Elf. I love these. And um, just add those in the corner. And then, of course, Elf also had a kind of wintry set that um, had... Um, this could really go into January, though. It's just snowflakes. And they're kind of muted colors. Again, it's a mint and a, and a uh, muted blue. And then the um, checklist is stars, which I thought was kind of cute. And it kind of goes with that. And then the weekend banner, which is blue-green. Which kind of goes with that. So I'm thinking, y'all, it just seems like this one is going to go together better. But I really want to do this one with this. So, hey, wait a minute. Maybe I'll use this one with that and this with this. Oh, amazing, aren't I? Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll add this in like that. So that'll be week two. See, y'all help me figure it out. Oh no, wait a minute. I've got these kind of old-fashioned woodsy ones. And this is from 